What's going on everyone? It's Famster Sam here, back with another Zenit St. Petersburg in the Master League. And we move on to November in this episode. We have five games to bring you. And first up, we have another game in the Champions League against Paris Saint-Germain. Now, we did win the reverse fixture in the last episode against Paris Saint-Germain. So you never know what to expect in the game today. And, well, on paper, you would think Paris Saint-Germain would be the favourites to win this. But we are in very good form in the Champions League, so we could expect anything from this game. So I will be passing you over to the usual commentary team in Pez. And I will hope you enjoy the game. Enjoy it. Draxler and it's Pablo Sarabia Mbappe and here's Cup come on! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Paris Saint-Germain take the lead. One Here's Cochrane. Cochrane. He's had a go. Goal! They have hauled themselves right back into it. With time and space aplenty, he was never going to miss. And that's what the game is all about: find space and finish. But we have to credit the pastor to pick him out. That has certainly made things interesting. Who's going to get there? They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. He's had a shot! And here's Neymar. It's come through. The other side really gets... Pablo Sarabia! Yeah, that does look a foul. If he's given a free kick. Nicely done. Paris Saint Germain get themselves into the lead. Set a great strength on the ball. It's a great ball. Drilled in low. Real chance! And yes, it's there! They have come roaring back. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Quite a thriller this one's become. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal. They just got caught napping. And there's the end of the first half. And it has been a pretty crazy game so far. The game played out in extraordinary fashion, and the scoreline underlines that. Ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Terrific half, four goals. For that. Pablo Sarabia. It's got... It's one! That's 
the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Well, the chance! Goal! Zenit St. Petersburg! And the comeback is complete! Oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Paris Saint-Germain are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. So we have a breakthrough. Now, how will things develop from here? Minutes away from what would be a huge upset. Decent-looking ball. He's gone for it! Zenit St. Petersburg need to hold on for a few more moments. Gets the better of his man. Defrel. So time is nearly up. One final twist, perhaps. And it's Ooh, we just managed to pick up a very close 3 2 victory over PSG. That puts us in very good position to qualify from the group of death we move on to the league once again as we come up against Rubin Kazan now Rubin are doing very well in the league they are in the top half of the table so I was expecting a very tough game in this one uh, so we will see how it happens as we move on to the game and once again I'll be passing over to the Pez commentary team to call the action. Enjoy! Smolnikov to find run and he's happy to keep going. Ashmoon is on to it. Up he gets! with it, issues around fatigue and injury. Oh, it's a clear foul, and the referee's got a decision to make. And the referee has given a free kick just outside the box. And no messing about, it is red. Ruben Kazan are down to ten. We have the first chance from a dead ball situation. Makitsky with a real chance here. He's had a crack. Decent hit from there. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Zenit St. Peter's... And the shot! Goal! Zenit St. Petersburg! And Zenit St. Petersburg take the lead! Simplicity itself. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Zenit St. Petersburg take the lead, 1-0. Goes for a sweeping cross. And there's the end of the first half. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. Zenit St. Petersburg leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Oh, one oh good take in a good area. Now, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Well, you might think he's rising well within shooting range. Zenit St. Petersburg presented with them. He's gone direct. Oh, what a goal! About as smooth as it gets. Two up now, and they are cruising. And he's produced a beauty. Things starting to look very comfortable. Oh, with this... 
Looks to thread it through. Goes for goal! Kokurin. Kokurin! Oh, shit. And we do manage to pick up the win and get those three vital points. It did help that Ruben Guzan did have a player sent off in the first half, but we managed to pick up the win and the very vital three points we don't so desperately need with goals from Juba and a very lovely free kick from Raketsky. And moving over to the next game in the league we have Dinamo Moscow. Now Dinamo Moscow are very close to us in the league so it could be a very tight contest. But hopefully we can keep our current form and hopefully pick up another vital three points. And I will be passing it over to the Pez Country once again to call the action as it happens. Enjoy! A buccaneering run from the defender. Going for goal! No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Worth a try. Shame about the outcome. Oh, that's fantastic improvisation he showed there. Adjusted himself very quickly. Big chance! <laughs> Goal! Zenit St. Petersburg! And Zenit St. Petersburg take the lead. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. So we have our breakthrough. He's gone for it! Big relief. Oh, shooting chance! And this could be the final action of the first half. Gets good distance on it. And there's the end of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Zenit St. Petersburg head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. You're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Zenit St. Now it's Cochrane. Kokuri, shot at goal! And in it goes! And with that goal comes comfort! The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footed, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. Things starting to look very close it out to the flank. Here it comes. Up to meet it. <laughs> Shoots. <laughs> Goes for goal. Turns and goes back. Malcolm gets it out to the wing. In with a header! And it's there! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Zenit St. Petersburg are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Gets into a dangerous position. Well positioned to make that interception. Hoists it forward. 
tries a shot. He scores. It could be a lifeline. Two more needed. Oh, to keep his nightmare, Peter, he just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. And coming to the end of that game, we managed to pick up the win. We managed to just concede at the end, but we've managed to get a convincing win. Nice goals from Jerisi, Crockerin and Juba. But hang on a second, I think we've got a little bit of breaking news. Yes, Lucas Edmondson has been received a job offer from rival club Akmar Grozny. Now we will have further word from the manager later on. So that was some very interesting news on that job offer. And we will now move our attention over to the next match. We have Manchester City in the Champions League. And once again, we'll hope for another three points. We're doing very well in the Champions League. So I'm expecting a big win here. I, I, I can't see where we're going to be dropping points. I, the competition don't seem to be pulling their weight, even though they should be. But I'm confident in the boys. And hopefully we get another three points and get... Through uh, very unscathed, and we'll pass you over to the commentary team once again to call the action. Enjoy! So that's got things underway. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Surely he shapes the shoot. Marvelous goal. Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Zenitz and Petersburg take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant... Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to, uh, to hold on for the support. Asmoon! That's a pop! Possibly the last play of the half. Well, that wasn't in the script, and you have to feel for him, Peter. It's ended in uh, some embarrassment. Fortuity. And the first 45 minutes are up. Well, it's hard to say whether a two-goal advantage under these circumstances is decisive or not, but so far, I haven't really seen enough to in control at half-time, 2-0. So, just 45 minutes to decide the fate of this group. And here's Sané, and it's Silva. Those changes we have been expecting. for the crop up to meet it it's fruitless and here's Sonny he's in Aguero just off target great strength too strong for his opponent it's a loose ball and the shot it's in Uh, deflection may or may not have made a difference. Little matter, it is his. A 
couple of changes then in quick succession. This is threatening to become a really good game. Oh, no question, that's a foul. And it is a narrow lead, but they are clinging on to it right now. Oh, real danger here. He's had a go. Really well taken goal. And surely that does it. Perfect time. Decisive strike. There was to be only one outcome. Yeah, that's brilliant from him. Such a, a calm finish. Just pick your spot, don't think about what the keeper's going to do. Concentrate on what you have to do. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. So the lead now is two. And here's a Aguero! Chance again. No, Manchester. Bernardo Silva. Stones. Zinchenko. And, that's it. and there we have it. It's another win for Zenit. We have unlikely goal scorer Shatov getting a double and a very embarrassing own goal from a very unlikely uh, from a very unlikely guy, Kevin De Bruyne. And we have managed to now qualify for the knockout stage in the Champions League. It was it seemed a very impossible task, but we've somehow managed to do it. And let's hopefully we can keep this form into the league and make our way up. And now to wrap up today's episode, we turn our attention back into the league as we come up against Spartak Moscow. A very good team, but uh, we did we were very unlucky in this game. We hit the post and crossbar a lot of times, but as we can see from uh, this attack going on here, Spartak Moscow put in what is their one and only chance together, and it manages to go in the back of the net. It's just our luck and we fall to a very slender 1-0 defeat once again and it just touches what would have been a very good episode and we move our attention to the league we sit currently in 7th place not too bad, we would have been going better off if we had managed to get that vital win against Spartak Moscow but it was not to be and we'll move our attention to the Champions League as you can see we are qualified with PSG and Man City battling for the second qualifying spot now that is the end of today's episode thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed like and subscribe and goodbye